Before I begin this video, I just want to point out a few things. One, I am not attacking Michael Dorgady as a person. Two, just because Michael Dorgady is a bad director doesn't make him a bad person in real life. But if you say any nasty comments about Michael Dorgady, your comments will be deleted and reported to YouTube. And three, I don't think Michael Dorgady is a bad person. I just feel like he could have put a little more writing to it, to the film. But if you like King of the Monsters, it's fine. It's just my personal opinion. All right, now let's get started with the video. Hello everyone, this is Jacob Goji here, and today I'm going to be talking about how I would improve Godzilla King of the Monsters. Now, we all know Godzilla King of the Monsters isn't a bad film, but not a good not a great film either. Like I mean, when I, when I first saw the film, I thought it was the best Godzilla movie ever. But looking back at it now, I just think it's mediocre. Like, the CGI isn't good, the story isn't good, the human characters aren't really that good as well. Neither the fight scenes are good, because they're because most of them are just bad. But Michael Dorgerty just doesn't know how to make a Godzilla fight scene. Yeah, Michael Dorgerty is a nice guy in real life, but I feel like he could have just put a little more work to the film. So that's why today I'm going to be talking about the way how I would improve King of the Monsters. Number one, better human plot. Now, human plot should matter in a Godzilla movie, and if it doesn't, doesn't mean it should be bad. Like, I mean, the human characters were were kind of mediocre in this film, but there were a few good ones, like, you know, Mark Russell. Yeah, Mark, Mark Russell's character was pretty good, but the problem is that he was given kind of a shitty role, and then he barely did anything. But I gotta say, one of the characters that were an improvement were Dr. Zarazawa. His character was an improvement over 2014, but the problem is that they kill him off in this film. You could have saved him for Godzilla vs. Kong and onwards. And one thing I would add to Dr. Zarazawa is give him the eye patch like Dr. Zarazawa in the 1954 film. And also, don't kill off Sally Hawkins' character. Because, I mean, yeah, because you could have just saved her for 2014. For Godzilla vs. Kong and onwards as well. And also, I would give Madison Russell and Emma Russell more character development instead of Emma Russell just being annoying. And I'd say don't make Emma Russell a bad guy. Number two, the CGI. Now, the CGI looks pretty good in, in some shots, but in some shots, however, it just looks fake and looks kind of weightless as well. Like, there's some scenes where it has bad CGI like this. Like, seriously, the CGI in this film looks so fake. Like, I mean, yeah, like, it's too blurry in some shots, and especially in the Boston battle, because the Boston battle does have some bad CGI as well. And then the, about the weather effects, I mean, I, I just don't like seeing Godzilla and Ghidorah fight in the middle of the blizzard in the nighttime in Antarctica, or in the middle of a storm or a hurricane. Like, that just doesn't make any sense at all. And the lightning effects or thunder doesn't need, doesn't need to be in the in the background. Like, why can't you just have, like, a realistic sky instead of just storms and hurricanes? Like, that would definitely make any... That would definitely make more sense than this. But I could say Godzilla 2014 definitely had better CGI. Like, it looked more realistic. It actually felt... Had more weight to it. Number three. Get rid of most of the Titans that we didn't see in the film. Yeah, I mean, I do like the idea of having new Titans in the MonsterVerse. Like, we have Behemoth, Methuselah, Scylla, and the Queen Muto. But there's some Titans in the film that we didn't even see. And, they were, and it was just kind of useless to put them in there. So, if I were to do this in my way, I can just remove the Titans we didn't see. And just only have Behemoth, Methuselah, Scylla, or, and Queen Muto. But maybe you can add more new titans to this film instead of just eight. Number four, get rid of Burning Godzilla and the Oxygen Destroyer. Now, let's be honest. I really liked Burning Godzilla and Godzilla vs. Destroyer because they actually make it look like Godzilla was actually dying and he absorbed too much energy. But here, in King of the Monsters, they decided to make Godzilla to a freaking power-up. Like, seriously. 
He just only turned into Burning Godzilla just to defeat King Ghidorah. And about the Oxygen Destroyer, the, uh, the introduction of the Oxygen Destroyer was rushed, and it wasn't really needed in the film. But the problem is that the Oxygen Destroyer just explodes like an atomic bomb. Like, the Oxygen Destroyer is supposed to be a weapon to kill creatures underwater, not a freaking bomb. I just feel like Michael Dorgody only put Burning Godzilla and the Oxygen Destroyer in the film because he thinks he's never going to get his hands on a Godzilla film. Like, you could have just saved Burning Godzilla for another film in the MonsterVerse and, and the Oxygen Destroyer as well. Number 5. The Monsters Now, Godzilla did have the best treatment in the film, but the problem is that Michael Dorgody makes Godzilla too powerful. Which, I mean, I know he's a Godzilla fanboy, and just because you're a Godzilla fan doesn't mean you can't make Godzilla win every battle. Like, Godzilla does have to lose sometimes, especially against really powerful monsters like King Ghidorah. Like, have Godzilla lose two two battles, like, have him lose the Antarctica battle and the Mexico battle. Like, I mean, I just don't want Godzilla to be too powerful, but I still want him to be strong. And I also fixed Mothra as well. Now, not only Mothra is weak in this film, but she's also way too small because she's 52 feet. Now, I would make Mothra 150 feet, closer to her Tokyo SOS size, and have Mothra play a bigger role in this film. And not only that, maybe make Mothra stronger as well, and make her smarter, and have her call out her um, two Ma Mothra twins that can be in the film as well. Now with Rodan, Rodan probably had the worst treatment. Like, Rodan was so weak in this film. And not only that, he's also too small as well because he's 154 feet. He's even smaller than his previous incarnations. Yeah, so maybe have Rodan be around 360 feet, almost the size of Godzilla, and also make Rodan stronger as well. And give Rodan a bigger role and he can be the deciding factor to defeating King Ghidorah. And then we have King Ghidorah. Now, to be honest, King Ghidorah was wasted as a villain in this film. Like, King Ghidorah was such a wuss, and he was getting his ass kicked by Godzilla. Like, Godzilla was literally mopping the floor with King Ghidorah. Like, that's the thing. King Ghidorah is supposed to be the overpower Godzilla, and King Ghidorah is supposed to be the arch nemesis as well. Like, I mean, if you look at the Kevin Ghidorah memes, not only that they're unfunny and cringy, but it also ruins the dark and arch nemesis of King Ghidorah. Like, the concept they were going for is that King Ghidorah was going to be like this living nightmare that was going to take over the world. But no, they had to make King Ghidorah into a freaking wuss. And plus, he's also weak compared to Godzilla. Like, his bite force is weak, and his gravity beams are weak as well. Yeah, but if I were to fix King Ghidorah, I would make King Ghidorah around 620 feet. And also have King Ghidorah's gravity beams draw blood on Godzilla. And his bite force be more powerful. And I will also make have King Ghidorah use his tail spikes to attack. And they actually do a lot of damage to other kaijus. Number 6. The designs. Now, don't get me wrong. I do like Godzilla's design in 2014. But the problem I have with it is that his head is a little too small. His dorsal plates are too small. He's kind of chubby. And his feet kind of look like elephant feet. But, if I, but in King of the Monsters, I mean, Michael Dor... Dorgity did improve the design a bit, but it's not enough, though. Like, I mean, I do like the new dorsal plates, but they could be sharper. And there was no need to change the tail tip as well. Because, like, I mean, I kind of prefer the tail, the, the pointy tail for Monster vs. Godzilla. So, like, if I were to change the design a bit, I would keep the 2014 tail tip. And I would make his head a little bit more bigger. And I would add more spikes onto his head. And then maybe I'm, uh... Add more color to him like i would make his dorsal plate tips and claws a bone white and that was and that, those are the changes i would do to godzilla's design and for rodan now i do like rodan's design i mean it's it's good but i feel like the only changes i would do to it is maybe give him his chest spikes and have him kind of resemble 1956 a little more and for mothra i would definitely change her body design like keep the head and wing designs but i'd say Give her more moth-like legs. Like, give her legs like GMK Mothra. And maybe give her a thicker body and have her kind of resemble Toho Mothra a little more. And for Ghidorah, well, I would change the head designs in the necks as well. Because his head designs look kind of cute looking, to be honest. 
Like, I mean, I would use the head design similar to the San Diego Comic-Con poster. Because that those head designs look way scarier. Like, I would give them longer horns and more manes of hair. And also add the extra wingtip like in the Jack Specific figure. And finally, number seven, the fight scenes. Now, the fight scenes in this film are pretty bad. Like, for instance, there's way too many cutaways. More cutaways from Godzilla 2014. But at least they don't cut away from the fight scenes too much. Besides to just the humans watching the kaiju's fight. And Kong Skull Island doesn't do it as much as well. Neither is Godzilla vs. Kong. I mean, at least it's the... The Hong Kong fight is the best fight scene in the MonsterVerse because there's no cutaways. But it would have been better if we saw more hand-to-hand -hand combat between both of them. But in King of the Monsters, the way how I would improve the fight scenes is that no, don't cut away from the humans too much. And also have Godzilla struggle at fighting King Ghidorah a little more instead of mopping the floor with him. And have King Ghidorah overpower Godzilla, Rodan, and Mothra. And then they're, ha they're struggling to defeating Ghidorah. Like, that would make Ghidorah very, very powerful. And that would that would have been cool to see. Like, we could have seen Ghidorah dodge Godzilla's attacks. And then his gravity beams can drop blood on Godzilla and do a lot of damage. All those things. So, that was it, guys. Those were all the ways how I would improve Godzilla King of the Monsters. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.